Okay, um, good night everyone. Well, good evening everyone. It's only half ten. Um, I'm, I'm back with another stream and in today's stream we will, we will be implementing progressive image loading. Um, so this is something that I wanted to Im implement for a long while because when, when you're in a slow internet connection, like I'm not talking about high latency, I'm talking about low bandwidth, um, just low throughput of data. Um, I, I've just I just wanted to simulate how that looks to you. I've limited myself to three megabytes per second. I limited. I know this is not a realistic case. Like limiting yourself to three megabytes per second is actually very good. Three megabytes per second is actually very good. But when you're using debug resources and you're running your um, like development server locally, your resource uh, bundle becomes super big because you don't have an optimized build. Um, anyway, this is this is what I'm going to be using to simulate the effects of a slow internet connection today. Don't get me wrong in the real world three, three megabytes per second is enough to load a website like it's plenty to load a website actually in 10 years i'm going to be watching this video and be, be like three megabytes per second that's tiny but anyway okay let's load the website and let's let me show you what the problem is it's blank as you can see the website is blank 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 and then the image loads but the animation is already finished and everything underneath has actually loaded but this image isn't loaded and then the user um, thinks they should wait a bit more because this image isn't loaded right and if this image isn't loaded then they probably wouldn't think of scrolling down and like why would you scroll down before seeing the top of the website that's also not what I would do at least I'm not sure about other users but I wouldn't scroll before seeing the website loaded right okay so um, fortunately there's another library that could rescue us so there's someone someone um, created this react progressive image library that we could use and this library gets 7271 downloads per week which is quite a lot and then well since it gets that many downloads not because it gets that, that many downloads but like it has users right and i will be able to find some documentation or i will be able to get some help um about how this library works fortunately it comes from some sort of documentation in here and I've read some of that documentation and turns out we can c actually use this one um, in our use case but we're going to replace this image with a div actually with a header so let's go back to the website and remember how we use how we load the images we have this get random integer function which selects one of the images in here like this is zero one two three four we have five images in here and this it, uh, this folders is an array that contains the name of urls of these files and um we're gonna ha we're gonna do something very similar again, but um, we're gonna encapsulate this background image and this URL tag or, or the U or the URL in here um, into into the component that we're gonna be installing. We're gonna put this header in um, in the place of this image that you see in the documentation. All right, let's get started. So we're gonna go to the terminal. We're gonna install some dependencies. Um, why is it showing? Okay, well I was working with something and it was it was showing it. Anyway, we are on a clean project right we left this project with some other work that we did yesterday um, we added the spinner for uh, the blog loading thing anyway right we're going to install this thing so, so to install that we're going to we're just going to click this go back to intellij we're going to paste it in and then we're going to do dash save dash dash save actually double dash all right now that it's installed too late <laughs> now that it's installed uh, we're gonna um, we can start by just copying this and we're gonna modify it right that should be easy enough uh, I'm just gonna put it in here and we have to import this thing I'm not sure if IntelliJ has yeah it hasn't indexed it yet so let's manually import this thing um, we're gonna do import um, progress progressive image from what is it? Um, oh, that's a difficult one. Hmm. I might need some help in here. Right, how is this one imported? Or can we just do... Oh, we can just say... We can just put the library of the image. We can just put this in here and it's probably gonna find it, right? Yeah, okay, that's it. That's how we import this component. All right, let's scroll down. We're gonna replace this, this image with uh, the header let's cut this and replace it with this thing let's run auto clean okay and we need to replace this style uh, this url with 
uh, these images. The URL for these images will be coming from something that looks like this, but we're going to clean this up. So when this component runs or when this component mounts, we're going to pick a random here image. But to do that, we're going to, uh, oof. all right, let's do something like this. Const constant uh, random here image equals random int folders dot um, here are images dot length. Let's call this number random here image number. Okay, and now we can replace it with that. All right. Um, we can just put this inside in here. We don't need that to be a constant. Uh, at least, okay. So we'll leave that there. So this can be used in there. Okay. Um, right. You're going to create a new folder. You're going to call this folder. So if you're going to create a new directory, we're going to call this folder tiny. And we're going to copy all of these, paste them inside in here as well. Actually, let me just do it with one single image so we can measure the impact of the size of this library. We're going to select our bigger, biggest picture in here, which is Wall Ankara. Uh, we're going to delete all of these and delete all of those from there. And we're going to rebuild this in Finder. We're going to resize this thing. Rebuild in Finder, double click this, go to here, adjust size. And let's resize this to like 200 pixels. Yeah, that looks fine for now. All right. This is okay. I mean, it does the job for now. Uh, I might just resize them later on off, off stream, but um, just for dem demonstration purposes, it doesn't matter. So you're gonna add it to the folders in here. Here are images, let's duplicate this line, put a comma in there. Uh, let's call this tiny hero images. Hero, it's under tiny. Okay. So we we added our folder to our um, file manager utils of JSX. Um, I'm still thinking about refactoring this file just a little bit. We can maybe get rid of these things and dynamically import all of those things later on, but I'm not sure how to do that yet. We'll take a look later. Okay. But this is still a fairly good approach. The only problem is you have to keep these in memory, which is not really a big deal in modern devices anyway. Uh, okay. Let's go back to the task. So we have the Im names of these images in the folder, and then we also have the names of the images inside this folder. I mean, by images, I mean the hashed URLs, all right? And what can we do? So we have the random image. And now we're going to get the URL. So const image hero image URL equals that. And const hero image, no, you're going to call it tiny hero image URL equals folders dot tiny here images random and in here oh, no we're gonna say random here image number right now that we got the URLs for these ones we can replace the source and the placeholder ones the source is going to be the here image this is going to be the tiny here image Um, and then we can replace this URL thing with the source. Well, that should do the job. If this runs at the first try. Yes, it's doing some, all right, good job. Uh, yeah, um, actually, um, I've, I've done a previous stream where I failed multiple times trying this. So, you know, there's, Here's a free tutorial for you. You don't have to watch me learn all of these things. So I've done this before. 
Okay, nice. And I'm not sure what we're gonna use this loading thing. We can go back to the documentation and check the styling option. Oh, this is something that I'm gonna implement later. Just wait. Not this stream though. I'm just practicing or learning how that thing works. Uh, delay, no delay. I don't want to delay. Uh, source something, something. No, not really. No. Okay. Can we get some animations in this maybe? Um, source opacity. Huh. Can we do that? That would be cool. What is opacity? Oh, this. No. Okay. CSS blur. Background blur. Let's see how you use that. Not sure if this is going to work, but we're going to try it out. Blur 8 pixels. Oh, we don't need that. Okay. Hmm. I wonder why this is complaining. Let's try it anyway. Maybe it's just IntelliJ complaining about it now. Parsing identifier directly after number. Oops. Can I get rid of this? Uh, maybe not. Opacity. Can we change something else than opacity? You know what? I'm, I'm actually not that sad about this problem. I can fix this later. I can add any other effect later on. This stream is just about how we can make this work. I'm not using this loading tag right now, so just gonna leave it there. And cleaning up this bit and like um, putting all of these things in a component could be done later on, uh, which is something I should do, right? The, the hero component ideally should contain all of these things. We can take care of that one. Yeah, let's extract it. We don't need these things to be in here. We don't need these constants to be in there. So let's create a new tech dev item. And this is gonna be a two story pointer because it's just extracting some stuff. Um, we can say extract, extract um, progressive image. from home into its own component. Okay, that does the job. Okay. <sighs> right. Let's see the measure let's let's measure the impact of this um on our website. Like let I'm I just I'm just wondering how much um of it download over um, overhead we are having together with this library and also with uh, the new background image also let me replace this with something that looks better so i'm just going to copy this again going to delete that one from there paste it inside come on copy paste yeah let's review this in finder again i'm going to re resize it um mm -hmm. tools resize Let's do something like 600. No, 600 is still too small. Let's go with like 800, which is still, which is okay. 56 kilobytes, which is a massive saving compared to this one. 680 versus how much? 56 kilobytes. And it doesn't look that bad. Um, all right. Let's do a serve. Serve is when um, you do a production build and serve it locally. Um, serve is what I use to 
do a production build and host it locally so I can see the um, size differences with each change. So what, okay, well, it's complaining for so about something. Hmm, it looks like I need to run npm install again, npm. Let's do the search. Let me show you the search script. I've done a stream about this. Go back and watch if you want. If you're wondering how this works, so it does it does a production build and then uses Firebase Serve to just serve it locally. All right. Inspect. Network. Refresh the site again. So the website is one point nine megs. I'm just going to verify if it loads, if I'm on a slow internet connection again. Let's try 500 kilobytes per second, which is quite slow. Right. Ooh, this is terribly slow. Well, we might have to wait for a while. Okay, now you can see the terrible image but now it's no, now later on it's going to replace it with the good one it's just downloading the good one right now okay the good one's loading still loading still loading still loading still loading probably still loading oh no it's loaded why did it download 1.7 megs this time All right let's disable the thing and refresh it 1.9 1.9 1.9 1 1.9 Okay, we consistently get 1.9, whatever. Okay, so it's 1.9 and the background image swapping thing, a progressive loading is working. Now we're gonna stash all of these changes. Let me see the changes. Yeah, we're gonna stash all of these changes now and we're gonna delete the rest of the hero images and we're gonna see how big the website was. So 1.9, um, yeah, let's do that. So git stash. And we're gonna download. Oh, we're gonna download. We're gonna remove those images and do the serve thing again. And then we're gonna see how how much of a change we got. All right, running the production build. Regardless of how big this is, this is definitely worth it. It should it shouldn't add more than hundred kilobytes though. All right, refresh. One point eight eight. Yeah, see, it shouldn't add more than hundred kilobytes because if you're limited with the second image size that we are loading, um, if the second image is just fifty kilobytes, it's just going to add fifty kilobytes plus whatever, ho however big the library is. It shouldn't be that big. Amazing, just amazing. Okay, I like this. Hmm. All right, let's revert back the changes. And let's do git stash pop. Right, let's um, revert back these changes too. Kayaking while lending. And we're gonna have to add um, miniaturized versions of all of these. Let's remove this. I'm gonna add a higher resolution one actually. Copy it, paste them all over in here. Add them here. Um, yeah, no, not there. Um, let's reveal in Finder again. Uh, we're going to open all of these images one by one. Adjust size. Let's replace it with, um, with, I don't know, like 1280 by almost 720. Fine. Adjust size. Come on. 12. 80. Hmm. This image wasn't that big. Never mind. All right, that makes it tiny again. 
and uh, rules adjust size 12 80 once more all right that's a substantial decrease in size except this one i don't know what's the deal with this one i can take a look at that one later but that's that's great okay now let's try and do one more serve just gonna take a look I'm just going to take a look at how much of a how much of a difference it makes um, in terms of like loading speed and stuff. Okay, let's limit ourselves with um, one megabyte per second. Let's refresh the website. Okay, that's the lower resolution and it's swapped with the higher resolution this is not a very good example actually this image is the highest high biggest size one biggest size one mm, i'm going to decrease the quality of that to be honest just let's go to this folder yeah this needs to be opened in photoshop and the quality needs to be modified actually all of these need to be opened in photoshop and quality needs to be modified okay Save as, click walking, replace, yeah. Hmm. Maybe we could do, I can apply the blur on the browser side, right? I can do just for now, for now, just for now, I could do save as. And decrease the quality. Yeah, it's pretty bad. But what can you do? Okay, I don't really care about the rest of them. They're all under 200 kilobytes. Right, let's refresh. So we get to show something before. Okay, this gets loaded first, and then a higher quality get one gets swapped. All right, I think we need to do some more optimization. So 162 is still too big. Let's open this with Photoshop and modify the quality. And save as, yeah. Yeah, that's okay. Let's open this one too. No, your your I was meant to open it in Photoshop. What what am I doing? Right, file save as, and we're gonna decrease the quality of this. Yeah. And the last one. That's the substantial decrease decrease in quality. Right, those files are really tiny now. All right, let's do another serve. <coughs> uh, and we should see a bigger time gap between uh, the lower resolution images and then the higher resolution images when they're swapped in. Wait, is the port number different? It's 5005. Okay, the previous ones don't get killed apparently. Anyway, inspect, network, one megabyte per second, go. Alright, the Worst quality one gets downloaded and gets swapped with the higher quality one. I should be able to add an animation later on, but for now I'm not going to add an animation. This stream is all going to be about progressive image loading, and the next one I can I can think about how we can add animations to this. There must be a way, right? There must be another library or something maybe I can use. All right, cool.
Very cool. Maybe there's something that um, image. Yeah. I don't know. I'll take a look. I'll take a look. Okay. This is it for the stream. Um, oh, before. No, 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 no. I, I was, I'm going to deploy this too. You just built it so I can just go ahead and do Firebase deploy. I'm going to deploy this too. And then you're going to see it on the real website. Reload. So there you go. Oh, it's it's super quick. Well, I didn't even notice it in this one. There you go. Nice. That is actually too qu too quick. I could use lower quality images like it happens so quickly that my eyes can't catch it it's because i'm on a fast internet connection but there you go this is this is how you do it yes it doesn't even add that much to the website size nice Okay, now almost always I'm getting this animation played back. How about I do one megabyte per second? Mm, I still don't get, I think it's, but this time it's the fault of our, um, one of our bundles, I believe. This thing is big, that thing is big. I can get rid of Loti to save another hundred kilobytes possibly. Yeah. Hmm. It saved a lot of time this time. Okay, well, that's it for the stream. And that's how you implement lazy loading in, like, no, not lazy loading, progressive image loading in React. Up next is probably adding some animations or something. Um, yeah, and I'll see you in the next stream. All right, bye.